got. You see the space? We left the trailer too high. We left the trailer too high for me. And it weighs too much for me to crank it down. And I don't have any suspension bags on my trailer. So here's a trick that I've learned from the old school that we're allowed to do. I'll show y'all. suspension air now I'm gonna pull up and I'll show you what I'm gonna do next so what this old school dude taught me once because the trailer is it weighs too much right now that I can't crank it down it's not moving so I would have to call a yard dog to have him lower it but um, I learned it from an old school cat when no one's around to help what you do. So the first thing we want to do is grab some dunnage. So we're going to grab a piece of this dunnage and place it on the fifth wheel. Now what I did, what I did was I backed up with that dunnage on the fifth wheel and under the, under the trailer. Right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna re-engage my airbags. Now what that should do should do is take a little weight off the trailer so I can crank that. So what it did is it lifted up the trailer and let the weight up so that I could actually crank that, crank it down and lower the, the flatbed. So now I'm going to drop my suspension again so I can get that piece of uh, dunnage out and stop the suspension. After I'm done here in the air, Benching. Now I'm going to pull forward slowly. Now I'm going to pull that dunnage out of there. Get it off the bed. Take this off of here. Now the fifth wheel, uh, I've lowered the flatbed. I, I believe I have lowered the flatbed low enough so that that fifth wheel will lock when I hit that pin. Let's check it out. So now we re-engage the air. We want, we want our tractor to build back up. We want it to raise up. We're gonna pull back. We're gonna lock this pin. See if we were successful. There you go. And that's how you do it. Now just to be sure, you want to get underneath. Let's check that kingpin out. See if we're locked in there correctly. We don't see any uh, an indication that it wasn't locked correctly. Would be basically a, that steel bar, the jaw that grabs that kingpin. You would see a clean piece. It wouldn't look greasy. A line would look good. That's how you do it. I did a tug test. I put it in first gear. I tugged to be sure. 
to make sure that I went back in reverse. And that's what I learned from the old school guy. I didn't have to call a yard dog. I would have had to walk across the plant or drive across the plant to get somebody.